Doc Favors here. Want to share with you all something that has really been on my heart that I wanted to engage in terms of a topic for you all. Of course, you know, we have a couple of things that we share on this channel, but today I want to talk to you all about overcoming depression and what that looks like. And let me give you a backdrop on this so that you understand where we're coming from. When you deal with finances and you deal with mindset reset principles, you deal with, you know, mentoring and coaching people, uh, these symptoms of depression and anxiety, for example, they plague a lot of people and many people are not aware of how to overcome such things. And I realized from going through therapy myself, you know, and dealing with some of the grief issues that I had with my mother passing and some other things that has been going on in the past, I understood and come to understand even more that many people are dealing with these feelings and don't know what they are. So I did some research and you can do some of this research on your own, but I want to share with you all a functioning and working definition from the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And the title of it, if you want to look it up, is Mental Health Conditions, Depression and Anxiety. And so y'all, depression is more than just feeling down or having a bad day. When a sad mood lasts for a long time and interferes with normal everyday functioning, you may be depressed and then they list some of these symptoms. And that's what I want to talk to you all about today, because symptoms like feeling sad or anxious often or all the time. OK, sometimes we will have not so good days, some positive days. But the reality is this, guys, when it's chronic, when it happens all the time and you find yourself not wanting to do activities that used to be fun for you, when you have feelings of irritability and you seem to be frustrated and restless all the time. Even if you're having problems sleeping you all and staying asleep or you're waking up too early or you're sleeping too much, anything that is chronic and, in, and over, right? Over and above the normal state, you know, these can be signs of depression. And so the, the, the question then is, how do you deal with the depression? Well, you first want to tackle the issue of what causes depression you all. And, you know, I obviously, DNA, you know, it could be in your family history, uh, experiencing traumatic or stressful events frequently and too much, you all, you know, physical abuse, you know, like I said, transitioning of loved ones, you know, uh, chronic financial problems, you know, major life changing situations. All of these things can bring about uh, states of depression. And it's not assigned to one particular people group, one particular race group, age or number. If you could be old or you could be young, okay? And, and But I think the thing is that we have to start dealing with this thing and being truthful with ourselves. And this is one of the reasons why I chose to pivot because I was seeing a lot of people, even in dealing with some of the platforms that we were in, guys, a lot of people were, were so depressed and getting depressed and they were reaching out to me. Some of you all were reaching out to me saying, man, I'm sad, I'm this and I'm that. And that's why I chose to pivot and say, you know what? We've got to come up with a way that we can overcome these things and still stay in the game. So, you know, uh, otherwise you will get stuck and you will just leave and retreat. Now, once again, I, I'm still in stocks. I got some options. All my stock plays are green right now. You know, I was thinking about sharing some of those things with you guys. But what's most important is the philosophy and understanding your mental state. Your mental state has a lot to do with how high you can go and the level of success that you can achieve and want to achieve. So what I want to share with you all now is how did I overcome how do I overcome feelings of depression, thoughts and feelings of anxiety when major crisis hit and things of that nature? You know, some tips that you can use. The first thing you all is I begin to study the mental state and what that means. So when we say mindset reset, remember mindset coach, you know, uh, success coach, all of those things has, has a place. But if your mind is not stable, guys, and you don't know how to subject the thoughts that are coming into your mind, negative thoughts, toxic thoughts, mental images, um, negative memories that's coming up, then you will find yourself repeating the same vicious cycles of spiraling down. And sometimes I'll tell you this flat out, if you're one who experiencing this and it's so bad, then you need to go and get with a therapist and maybe go see someone because they do have antidepressants. So I wanna put that disclaimer out there now. Now. If you are so bad and you need some antidepressant because you're having thoughts of suicide and things of that nature, please, y'all, please go and get some help. Go talk to someone who can really help you out with that. 
Now, if you experience mild cases of depression and anxiety, sometimes I even feel these things, y'all, because we're human. They happen, a major setback. You invest in a platform, you lose your money. It can make you be depressed sometimes. What I want to share with you, like I said, is how do I overcome? So the first thing I did, you all, uh, the first thing I had to do in terms of, of dealing with this, I had to go and do some research and recognize the symptoms and things that I was dealing with. The second thing I had to do, you all, was learn some coping me mechanisms for stress. So you want to work out something. You want to exercise something. For me, I developed a daily routine. I call it my millionaire daily routine. Matter of fact, I'll leave a link down here and show you what I do on a daily basis in terms of my affirmations, practicing gratitude, get the moving, make sure I check the numbers, you know, writing down my vision and my goals, you all, keeping those out in front of me. Uh, these are some of the things that I did to help come out of that place and then some things that I teach other people so that you can see it because, hey, at the end of the day, we all know that it's out here, but we have to begin to have that conversation. Another thing that I did, you all, is I alerted my family and friends to how I was feeling, okay? I had to let someone know who can pay attention to see, was I having mood swings? Was I angry all the time? Was I irritable all the time? And, and how much of that time was I identifying or really sharing? Because y'all, let me tell you something, sharing is caring, okay? Truthfully speaking, sometimes you have to share so you can get these things out of you and off of you, Okay? And once again, I know this is a very sensitive subject. The subject of depression and anxiety is as taboo as talking about money. You know, some people are not where they want to be. Their results are not where they want to be. And they feel ashamed. But I'm here to tell you now that we provide, I try to provide a positive space so that you can share some of these things. That's another thing that we deal with over in my private Facebook group, you all. These are some of the things that we're going to be tackling with the Thinking to Results program. It shows you how to set goals. It shows you how to take a look at the inner self and how to deal with yourself so that you can be a real positive person and then get the results that you want to get. You would be surprised at how many people allow their insecurities, insufficiencies, sabotage their success. Because they'll say things like, I got a great business idea, but who am I? No one is going to listen to me. Nobody's going to you know, call me in to speak to their people. I don't have enough credentials. Or I don't have any ABCs behind my name in terms of degrees. Well, let me tell you something, guys. That is not true. That is a self-deprecating thought process that we help you deal with. So these are just a few of the things that I did to make sure that I provided a safe place, a support system around me. And when you join the Facebook group about creating a better life or a life of freedom, you all, sometimes you need freedom from negative emotions. You know, you may not understand that that depression and anxiety is really anger turned inward. Some people are not happy, like I said, about the outcomes and the things that they've tried to accomplish. You know, you've had so many setbacks and so many disappointments, so many failures, guys, that it begins to build up. And next thing you know, you just throw in the towel and you give up. Well, I came today. <laughs> to tell somebody, no matter where you are, sitting on your couch, driving down the street, if you're driving, please be safe, put your seatbelt on, don't look at the screen. But no matter where you are, you all, I came to encourage you that there is help for you, there is hope for you, there is a support system that won't judge you. And I know I haven't talked about this a lot. This is, as a matter of fact, one of my first times discussing this, but the reality of it is I'm getting a lot of phone calls. You all are booking strategy calls about the TIR. Uh, make sure I leave that link down below for you to book your call. But most importantly, you all, I believe that you can do anything you set your mind to. This is why we chose to pivot and strengthen the mindset. Teach about wealth philosophy. Teach about self-image. I, I can show you all how to develop that millionaire self-image, that world-class self-image, so that you can make the goals and set those C-type goals and feel good about it. Y'all, you're supposed to feel good when you wake up every day. You're supposed to be good and feel good that you're in the land of the living. You're supposed to attack your day. Don't let it just happen to you. This is why we command our day. We say these things. We got these systems in place that can help you do that. And, and, and last but not least, you all, what I really have to tell you is that I minimize how many and how much negativity I allow to come into my space. Negative people, toxic talk. You can't be around me with that. I get it. Every now and then we have to discuss things that may have taken place in our life. 
But if every time, everything is always negative, if I share an idea with you, you're always putting it down. I had to get rid of those people from around me, you all, so that I can really reach those heights that I believe I was destined to do. And I'm telling you right now, yes, you, 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 you watch it right now. You're destined for greater. You're called to do greater exploits. You're called to do big things in life. You just have to believe it. And if you believe that, then, hey, if you're ready, you say, you know what? I would like a, a coach. I would like someone to help me recognize the greater things that I can do on the inside. Help me recognize that there's so much more out here for me than what I'm doing. Then, hey, I want to work with you. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, I like to keep my videos around 10 minutes so I don't bore you or just ramble. But I'm going to leave uh, two links down here. I'm going to leave a link for the Creative Life of Freedom with Dr. Favors. And then I'm going to leave leave a link that you can book a strategy call on how to see what type of programs we have that might be able to help you. Okay. And I'm going to tell you now, getting into the, the program or getting into the private Facebook group, you're going to be in there with people with like minds, like passions. Now, let me say this. All of us probably want to increase our finances and develop passive income. I understand that we can help you with that, but we can't start with that. First, we got to do what mentor Tony Robbins taught us to do, which is simply, number one, we got to change our state. You got to change your state of mind. Then we help you change your story by visioneering, by using the higher faculty of imagination and reason. Then once we change the story, we then show you how to put strategic steps in place, a step-by-step -step process that's going to get you to that place called there. And I'm going to tell you why we've helped so many people. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing when the light bulb goes off and you experience that aha moment. But most importantly, guys, it's amazing to know that you're not in it by yourself. So I may be doing a few videos, but first I would like you all to do me a favor. Like, subscribe to the channel, to the content. For those who are new to this, hey, I'm Doc Favors. I help you strengthen your mind so that you can create and live a life of freedom. And so I want to hear your comments. You want to let me know what's going on. I'll do the other Novatech check-ins. I'll do the other piece. I may share about some of the stock picks and options that I have. But for right now, I want to help you all overcome this anxiety and this, this depression so that you can experience the levels of success that you're looking for. So with that being said, you all, as always, let's stay positive on purpose and not by accident.